morning, good morning, and welcome back to Gaming with Marty and this your boy, Marty Mar. Back again with some more LSPDFR content for the channel. Uh, we tuned into our last episode. We were going through Officer Diaz's training, seeing as how she is just exiting the police academy of uh, Los Santos and... Our last episode featured her first interaction with calls of service. Had a little issue with uh, our traffic stop function, but we did get that fixed. As I thought, it's just a simple restart of LSPDFR. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. Simple, quick restart to get you right back on patrol with everything functioning the way that it should be. So now that we are units, good to go. Units respond code three on a uh, heritage way. Got this vehicle fire coming in. We'll let another officer respond to that. So, with that in mind, everything is back running the way that it should be. We're going to go ahead and basically gauge how Miss Diaz, Officer Diaz, does with her traffic stop portion of her training. And then, once that is complete to a satisfactory merit, we'll be able to sign off and she'll be able to patrol by herself. So without further ado, let's get right down onto it. Dispatch, show me 1041. Copy that, five, king, 14. Proceed to patrol area. Seen him throw his turn signal on at the last second. At least he turned it on now. Hopefully everybody's enjoying the weekend. Got some good stuff planned for the next two days that we have off. <laughs> All right, Officer Diaz, so objective for today is going to be me engaging how you interact with citizens during any and all traffic stops. Since policing is more discretionary than anything, let's try not to become enemies of the public. going off there for a second. He had his turn signal on. It may be a huge mess, but there's a lot of money to be made. A whole bunch of trash out here on the circus way. We have a 415 in Del Perro. Bright and early. Seems like no one wants to actually, uh, break any laws. A suspect resisting arrest on, um, Del Perro Freeway. Park, 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 Park. Five King fourteen attaching. Ten four copy. Five King fourteen. We'll go ahead and attach copy to this that. pursuit Moving here. Right Assistance now. needed in the Spooky Canal. Dispatch, we got eyes on the perp. A couple officers are requesting backup, so we'll definitely fulfill their request. See if we can't help Attention out. Attention all units. Suspect at spotted. Uh, driving a uh, black sports utility vehicle on Del Perro Freeway. All units stand by. Target 
target scene heading east, Not doing 70 far. miles per yeah. hour on uh, Del Perro Freeway. Target heading south, doing 70 miles per hour, in, uh, Murrieta Heights. Oh, what are you doing, my guy? Ooh, that's really good going. Target last seen heading south, doing 70 miles per hour, on, uh, Elysian Fields Freeway. Two officers that responded from within city limits to this pursuit, joining up with the other. Target spotted heading north, pursuit. doing 70 miles per hour, in Elbero Heights. Dispatch, we got eyes on the target, moving to engage. Serpentine movement. That's funny. Sir, don't make any further movements. This is the LSPD. You are under arrest. We got Officer Diaz right up in the mix. Watch crossfire. You sorry piece of crap. Attention, this is dispatch. No further units required. Ahead and wow, hold up, fire. Drive this guy, move him closer over to our vehicles out of traffic. Another supervisor on scene as well. Why don't you guys watch over him while I get a check of the vehicle? Just go, will you? Requesting 1028, uh, 46 Edward, Edward King, 572. Target license plate, 46 Edward, Edward King, 572. So Amanda Valencia is our owner. And this doesn't look like Amanda. We'll get some ID off of this guy. Hey, you, you got your ID? Thanks. Marco Day, requesting 1027, Marco Day, uh, DOP is going to be 4885. Asshole. So Mr. Day does have a warrant out God for arrest. And we'll also tie that in with possession of a stolen vehicle, possibly. Marco Day, let's see what's going on with him. Possession of cocaine is his warrant. He's also on parole for wanton endangerment. <clears throat> Let's get a pat down of him as well. Make sure we don't miss anything at all when it comes to this arrest. Good for nothing. Letter threatening the mayor of Alderney City and a pipe bomb so we can hit him with uh, possession of explosive device as well. Mr. Day, what's uh? What's going on? What you up to today? I'm just looking for somebody to kidnap. 
I mean, that could be a possible reason why these officers were chasing you in the first place. Shit. Where were you uh, headed to, man? Uh, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to link up with your brother today. Hold tight for me, please. So, unfortunately, we'll be ruining Mr. Day's plans of fall, uh, flying drones with his brother. Because he is now under arrest for not only his warrant, but for the series of unfortunate events that just unfolded. We'll create that record. Uh, or arrest report, rather. I'm going to hit him with the parole violation. Possession of cocaine is his current warrant. Vehicular eluding, and there was a small attempt to flee on foot. But since it was an attempt, you gotta hit him with it nonetheless. Also, possession of an explosive device. And I guess we could throw in speeding as well. Attached to an active pursuit involving Mr. Day. After his arrest, sheesh, pipe bomb was found inside the vehicle. So we get that saved up. Requesting 1016 get him transported, save this interaction to our uh, database, clear the scene of any extra officers, and our last step will be to get a tow truck uh, for this vehicle here. We're requesting tow truck to Postal 177. Requesting 1016. Huh. So he wasn't arrested this entire time. That's why it wasn't generating the um, transport unit. But now that he's arrested, we have him charged. Requesting 1016 to Postal 177. In there it is. And it looks like our tow truck also was able to retrieve the vehicle. So now we'll get Oscar Diaz back out onto the street to finish up her traffic stop, sir. Show me code four. Those officers are on the road. Attention all units. Code this four. This way, no so we'll let them needed. finish that up. Show me ten six. Be advised, I'll be running traffic with uh, Officer Diaz for her last train. Roger that. Five King fourteen. We took one call, which was an active pursuit, which was resolved rather nicely, I'll say. So now we'll do... So we had this guy there impeding the flood traffic. This guy there...
turn signal either there. Should have pulled him over. Failure to maintain his lane there. Suffering. Requesting 1028. Like this plate, six eight ocean William Frank two one six. We got a Joey Brooks. Hey, girlfriend. Let's see what's going on, Mr. Brooks. Accelerating at a high rate. No apparent reason. We'll go ahead and light him up as soon as he goes through this intersection here. Let's figure out what's going on. What rush is he in today? Where is he going? Copy that. We're moving right now. Show me on 10-11. 10-4, copy. 5-14. Proceed with caution. You could have just stopped right in that yellow area we were at. Could have mean, hey, if you want to stop right here. You just... What are you doing? Oh! Attention hey, Louise. No further units required. <clears throat> Thought I seen him flick me off through the window. Shout out to riskier traffic stops. Gotta be that uh that combined with deadly weapons will definitely keep you on your P's and Q's and we're gonna have to get back on them. Looks like Oscar Diaz is still out in the wind, so we'll go back over and scoop her up. Shot me straight through that window. Oh, for fuck's sake! Thought we had a valid reason. But it looks like he got out and ran, and left the car as well. What the hell? Why did she just do that? do is actually go through check this vehicle out make sure we get it off the streets <coughs> sorry about that we got uh several stolen driver's licenses in the trunk of the vehicle so that definitely could be a possible reason why the individual fled after he uh fired shots at the police Requesting 1051, postal 163. Flatbed, assistance required in, uh, La Mesa. Requesting 1028, follow 68, Ocean William Frank 216, might be a zero. Suspect's license plate 68 Ocean William Frank 216. Joey Brooks, so we'll have to keep an eye out for Mr. Brooks. See if any other officers come across them.
I don't know guys, looks like Miss Diaz might fail this portion. I was shot killed. She didn't return any type of uh fire at that suspect either. He was able to abscond from the scene, so Let's see if she can uh make amends in any way. Oh yeah. Good idea to make that turn into the left lane. Show me on a 10 11. 10 4 copy. 5 King 14. Approach with caution. Uh, looks like our guy is running. So, Officer Diaz, certain times. Traffic stops turn into pursuit. It all units. depends on how you react. Northbound driving uh my bot to New and Marietta Heights. So we'll go ahead all and request spike strips alert. just due to the size of the vehicle. We don't want to try to pit that. Requesting spike strips. Backup needed. Zero five. We John, should be able to get the uh, up there on that hill. Edward two, two, just seven. into another vehicle. Suspect heading north in Mirror Park. I'm not sure why they were up here on that hill. Didn't need them up there. And it would have been a perfect area for the spike strips. Requesting backup. Backup required in East Vinewood. Dispatch! This is Victor 13. Where Requesting spike strips. See if we actually get a uh, comp seat officer to John lay some strips down for us. And of course, they're not Edward, two, two, seven. at the right spot. Target so it doesn't look like a spike strip idea is actually going to be beneficial hour. to In, us. Uh, downtown Vinewood. Target reporting heading Last seen heading west Ooh. in West Vinewood. We got another officer coming up behind me on scene. Damn. Requesting spike strips. Backup required. Zero five. John A. Um. Edward two two seven. There we go. There's no way. Target seen heading east in West Vinewood. We advise strips were effective. 10 4. Don't make any dumb moves, sir. You've made enough already. Watch Crossfire. Nice caller from Officer Diaz. All units, suspect apprehended in uh, downtown Vinewood. All units, stand down. Hello. Traffic stopped, turned into a pursuit due to this guy just sitting in the middle of the road for whatever reason. We found what? A homemade pistol, open bottle of whiskey, classic pistol, and an unloaded marksman rifle. So we'll definitely get a check. Dispatch, stop traffic. We'll get a check on the Attention all units. ownership Officer of those weapons. Traffic control near downtown Vinewood. Homemade Vinewood. pistol was a felony. You're not allowed to possess those within the confines of Los, Los Santos. So we'll definitely arrest them for that. Possibly give him a drug test to see that 
could explain why he was sitting in the middle of the road. Azusa Nanako is the owner of the rifle. See who the owner of the pistol is. Hopefully it's the same person. And it is the same person. Now hopefully that person is the gentleman we pulled out of that UPS truck. The homemade pistol shouldn't come back to anybody. Hmm. Well, it's stolen, number one, and it's two, number two is illegal to possess, so we have two charges stemming from that there, as well as the open bottle of alcohol open container. So we'll give him a breathalyzer. Go ahead, give him a breathalyzer. I did find an open container within the vehicle. So we'll see if he's under the influence Thank of you. alcohol. And he's not, okay. And give him a quick pat down. Alrighty. Requesting 1027 on a Cameron Smith. DOB is going to be 6893. 93? This dude looks like he's 93. He does have a warrant. And he's not the registered owner of those firearms either, so he's going to be hit with the possession of those stolen as well. Warrants for petty larceny, 2,000 or less. So we got a good amount of charges for this guy here. Let's go ahead and just knock out that petty larceny uh, warrant. So next we'll hit him with uh, possession of firearm in commission of a felony. Possession of style. stolen firearm three times. Then also the unlawful possession of a firearm since it was uh, not his. Uh, we also have vehicular looting. Open container, even though he wasn't necessarily uh, under the influence. Can't have open containers within the vehicle. Spotted Mr. Smith uh, sitting in the middle of a lane with no other vehicles around. Once the traffic stop was initiated, Mr. Smith fled in his vehicle. We'll save that report. We got everything tied up for this gentleman here. Requesting 1016, postal 566. Save that interaction to our database on body cam. Downtown Vinewood. And we'll let looks like that guy there is going to take him. Requesting insurance agent. We'll get the insurance agent to come out and pick their UPS truck up. required in downtown Vinewood. And other than that, we are clear on this scene. Dispatch clear traffic. Attention all units, traffic control cleared. Show me code four. Attention all units. Code 4. No additional officers needed. Alright, we'll try to see if we can get one more traffic stop in to gauge Officer Diaz's capabilities. Traffic control over the supermarket.
Didn't see a turn signal, so why not? Copy that. We're moving right now. Show me on a ten eleven. Ten four, copy. Five King fourteen. Proceed with caution. So we do have gentleman's plate already pulled up. His insurance is expired on the bike. Dan Evans is the owner. So we're we'll definitely be taking this bike away from him since the insurance is expired. Requesting 1028. Uh, it's going to be 83 Queen George Young 749. Vehicle license plate 83 Queen oh, George Young 749er. A traffic violation. A warrant issued. Approach with caution. Outstanding warrant for Mr. Evans as well. Let's go introduce ourselves. Good morning, sir. How are you doing today? I'll try to make this as fast as possible, but you honestly may not like how this is going to go. Do you uh, have any idea why I stopped you just now? I just like to make sure that everybody's on the same page. You know, I'm sure you can understand that. Uh, I was following behind you right there, and uh, you didn't signal at all when you made the turn. Okay. At least you're being truthful about everything. You have your uh, license registration proof of insurance. Hey, you. You got your ID? Dan Evans. Thanks. Insurance is indeed expired back at the end of February of this year. Mr. Evans, are you aware that your uh, insurance is expired? Uh, okay, well, I'm sure you're aware that you can't necessarily be out here on the bike driving if you don't have any insurance. Do me a favor and just go ahead and step off, please. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Wait up! Go ahead and ask him about his warrant. You can give a shout out to whoever you like. I don't mind that, but you know, at this point, we are going to be all uh, reporting everything. Let's see, warrant, warrant, warrant. Let's see where we can go. Oh, it's only vehicle, COVID, domestic violence, solicitation, prostitution. You aware of any outstanding warrant, sir? I did get a uh, red flag on that. Give me a second, I'll be able to give you a little bit more information. So let's just go. He said he's not aware, so let's go ahead and double check, make sure that he is. Hmm. I don't know why I gave him the benefit of the doubt. He is lying. He has a warrant for arrest, for burglary, third degree. It's possibly his first offense, but. Nonetheless, still is burglary. Unfortunately, sir, you do have an active warrant for burglary in the third degree. Yes, that does mean I'm going to be taking you in right now. Do me a favor. Better turn around, put your hands behind your back, please. You're under arrest, you piece of crap! Officer Diaz, it's as simple as that. Walk your suspect right through the whole situation there. Requesting. 10:32, code two. We'll get another unit out here Assistance required to help us with the uh, removal of Mr. Evans. Victor 13, currently heading to the location. Nice pat-down procedure. Looks like you're being as thorough as possible. 
picture of the Union Depository with a note in foreign language, a letter threatening the LCPD chief, a letter threatening the Vice President of the United States. Mr. Evans, what's going on, bud? Looks like you're uh, not too happy this uh, bright and lovely Saturday morning. Hi. Got some more officers on scene. I don't Let me want give the bike uh, once over. See if there's anything that's fine. Nothing there. I gotta be somewhere. That's insane. Alrighty, so Jerk. we'll do the paperwork portion for Officer Diaz, so doesn't necessarily get misconstrued. See, we have no, no previous record other than his burglary charge. I think it was his first offense for that burglary in the third. So, just was thinking there for a second. Other than that, oh, there we go, uninsured motorists. That was based into the origins of the traffic stop after we noticed he didn't signal on his turn. We did get that, you know, notification that the insurance was expired. So we were able to attach that in addition find out about his warrant for arrest. So other than that, we'll go ahead and just save that report in to the system. Requesting 1016. Hopefully these two officers that arrive will take care of our transport for us. We'll get the bike out of here. Requesting 1051 for a uh, motorcycle. Get a small pickup truck out there. No need for anything bigger. While we wait for the tow truck to get here. We'll go ahead and wrap this episode on up. The Officer Diaz. We'll give her a pass. She couldn't necessarily have done anything to help me out when that guy hopped out of his vehicle. And shot me so. Her pat downs were thorough response time and helping me out with uh, doing suspects was uh, on point so we'll give her a passing grade Thank you. appreciate you guys for stopping through to enjoy the little bit of an episode we did here today right early so we may get another one in later on today but if not you guys enjoy your time enjoy the weekend and I'll catch y'all when we come back through peace out